So what's the difference between molecular and empirical formula in chemistry? So molecular shows the different atoms that make up a molecule and the number of atoms for a given molecule. So molecular is going to refer to the number of atoms of a particular element or elements in a molecule. So molecular shows you the exact number of atoms in that molecule, whereas the empirical formula is going to give you the smallest ratio. So smallest ratio of those atoms in a, in a molecule. And so an easy way to remember this is that empirical starts with an E, right? Empirical starts with an E. So this is like the easiest or the simplest, simplest formula. So it has the smallest and simplest ratio of those atoms together that make up this molecule, whereas molecular will show you all the different types of atoms. And so let's go ahead and take a look at glucose here. So formula is C6H12O6. Its empirical formula, okay, its empirical formula is going to be CH2O when we break that down and get the empirical formula. So glucose, this is glucose, molecular formula shows you all the individual atoms that make up the glucose molecule, whereas this is the empirical formula that just shows you the smallest individual ratio of those atoms for a molecule. And now each molecule has a certain molecular formula, and they also have their own empirical formula. Um, but sometimes they might also be the same thing, like for example, water here. This is water, H2O, everybody knows that. And so this is its molecular formula. Molecular formula, H2O, but it's empirical formula, right? Empirical. Uh, its empirical formula is also the same because that also happens to be the smallest ratio. So that's okay as well. It can be the same thing, but um, in the case of glucose here, it wasn't. This is the molecular formula for glucose, and this is the empirical formula. And so once again, the main difference is that for a certain molecule, this is going to be their molecular formula, and it shows you each of the individual atoms um, that are in that certain molecule. And then empirical formula is going to show you the smallest ratio of those atoms together, and it might be different than the molecular formula, or it could be the same as well.